I'm going to show you how to create this really cool parallax world effect that you might see in something like Stranger Things or in the last Doctor Strange movie. So in a lot of tutorials, the parallax effect is also interchangeable with the vertical effect or a dolly zoom. So basically, all you have to do is set the scale at 125. If you want to go for a greater effect, you can go to something like 150 and then set another keyframe for 100. And it'll create this illusion that it's stretching the video. So if you do want to, you can move the keyframes a little bit closer to each other so that this vertical effect is a little bit more visible. Next, duplicate your clip. So hold alt or option and drag up your clip. Next, select one of these duplicates and rotate it 180 degrees. Right click on the program preview and then go to safe margins. This will just help determine where the middle point is. We basically want this skyline a little bit before the halfway point. So something like this. Now I'm going to hide this video track and I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom video track. Now we're going to move it a little bit down. And now if we unhide the other video track, we have something like this. Now we want to mask out this bottom portion. So we're going to select on the top video track, go over to effect controls, opacity, and select on the rectangle mask. And you want to create this mask up until around the halfway point or when it overlaps with the bottom video track. So right here, this is pretty decent, except there is a hard edge in the middle. So we will have to feather out this mask. Now I'm just going to tweak this a little bit. I'm going to move this a little bit down move this a little bit up and we're just going to move up this mask a little bit now you want to highlight both of these clips and right click and go to nest and now we can do things such as rotate this zoom in and out so i'm going to start from the very beginning and set down a scale and rotation keyframe so you want to just click on the stopwatch so we're going to rotate this first and the reason you want to rotate this first is so that you can see the black bars right here and this is helpful when you set the scale so we're going to just zoom in and so now if you press play, it's slowly zooming in. And then after a few frames, we can have it reset. So it goes back to normal. To make the animation smoother, you can also right click on the keyframes and just easy ease in and easy ease out. If you want to make this effect look a little bit better, I would recommend you check out my speed wrapping tutorial. I'll basically speed up and slow down certain areas to make it look a little bit better. If you guys are watching and don't have Premiere Pro, you can actually check the link in the description for over 60% off all the Adobe applications if you're a student or teacher.